you will need a rheostat, a heating mantle, a hot plate with magnetic stir bar, a lab jack, a retort stand, two clamps, a distillation column, a distillation flask with glass stopper, a pasture pipette with bulb as well as your sample, silicone grease, and two rubber hoses. Start by taking one clamp and tightening it to the retort stand. Next, take your distillation flask and tighten it on the clamp. You can now start to add your solution to the distillation flask. Ensure to fill it only halfway. Take your magnetic stir bar and add it to the distillation flask. You can now start by adding the second clamp onto the retort stand. Make sure to tighten it place over top the distillation flask. Using your pinky, obtain some silicone grease. You need to grease up thoroughly the end of the distillation column. This is to prevent fusion of the glass pieces when heated up. Take your distillation column and place it into the clamp. Make sure to slide the distillation column into the distillation flask. You can now start to tighten the clamp on the distillation column. Next, place the hot plate onto the lab jack. Now you can place the heating mantle on top of the lab jack just underneath the distillation flask. Raise the jack so it is not directly touching the distillation flask. Take one of your rubber hoses and place one end onto the distillation column very gently. Take the other end and place it into the tap. This will be your water in. With the other rubber hose, place one end gently into the top of the distillation column. Place the other end into the drain. This will be your water out. Turn on the water. You should see the distillation column fill up. Plug in the hot plate, and then plug in the rheostat. Now, you need to turn on the rheostat to about 3 or 4, depending on your solvent. Now you can turn on the magnetic stir bar. You should see it spinning at this point. Reflux has begun when the vapor has reached two-thirds or one-half of the column length. Do not let it go over this. After sufficient time of refluxing, turn off the magnetic stir bar and lower the jack. Unplug the heating mantle and unplug the hot plate. You can now remove the heating mantle and the hot plate from the lab jack. Turn off the water and remove the distillation flask by unscrewing the clamp. Using your magnetic stir bar retriever, retrieve the magnetic stir bar. Place this on the lab bench next to you. Using a glass stopper, plug the distillation flask and place this into a beaker so it does not tumble. Start by unplugging the rubber hose from the tap so you can drain the distillation column. Once fully drained, gently remove the rubber hose from the distillation column. Now remove the other rubber hose from the top of the distillation column just as gently. You can then unscrew the clamps holding the distillation column in place and remove it. Place this gently on the lab bench. 
Now, remove both clamps from the retort stand. You will require two lab jacks, a rheostat, a heating mantle, two retort stands, two clamps, one kick clip, two different sizes of distillation flasks, a vacuum tube, a three-way tube, and a condenser tube. You will also need a thermometer adapter tube, a thermometer, your solution and a waste beaker, as well as boiling chips and a glass pasture pipette with bulb, silicone grease, and two rubber hoses. Start off by placing a clamp onto the retort stand. At this time, you can place a lab jack under each retort stand. Now place the other clamp on the second retort stand. Make sure they're tightened. You can also change the orientation. Grab one of your distillation flasks and using your pasture pipette, pipette in your solution. Make sure it is no more than half full. Add in a few boiling chips, around 3 to 5. Now you can clamp in place your distillation flask. Make sure it is securely tightened. Now add your heating mantle. Raise the jack to just below the distillation flask and make sure it's not touching. You can now use the silicone grease with your pinky and make sure to grease all joints. They're usually frosted glass. You can now place the three-way tube onto your distillation flask. Take your condenser tube and slide it into the second clamp and then onto the three-way tube. Make sure the two glass nozzles are facing towards the back of the fume hood. Clamp this securely in place. Now take your vacuum tube and place this onto the end of the condensing tube. Take your second distillation flask and place this on the bottom of the vacuum tube. Take your empty beaker and place this underneath the distillation flask. Now, using your thermometer adapter tube, place your thermometer all the way through. Now, place this into the three-way tube to the point where the thermometer is just touching the vapor that would come out of the distillation flask. Taking one of your rubber hoses, connect it to the rightmost glass nozzle on the condenser tube, and connect the other end onto the sink. Using the other rubber hose, connect it to the leftmost nozzle of the condenser flask and leave the other end in the sink. This will be your water out, and this one will be your water in. Using a Keck clip, connect the joint between the condenser tube and the vacuum tube. Turn the water on. If you're in a lab that uses monkey bars, you do not need retort stands and can attach the clamps directly to the monkey bars themselves, as shown here. Plug the heating mantle into the rheostat. Now, plug the rheostat into the wall. You can now turn on the rheostat to about 3 or 4. Once you've checked your thermometer and your compound is boiling, 
you should see some vapor condensing into the condenser tube. You should also see some liquid moving from the condenser tube into your distillation flask. Turn off the water. Once you have collected a sufficient amount of liquid in your distillation flask and the temperature has decreased low enough that it will not scald your hands, remove the second distillation flask from the vacuum tubing. This is known as your distillate. Place a glass stopper on it and place this into a flask so it will not roll around. You can also use a cork ring. Remove the keck clip from the condenser tube and vacuum tube and remove the vacuum tube. You can now remove one of the rubber hoses and disconnect the second from the tap. You can now disconnect the second rubber hose from the condenser tube. Unscrew the clamp to release the condenser tube. Now remove the condenser tube and place it on the lab bench beside you, very carefully. Remove the thermometer adapter tube and separate the thermometer and tube. Remove the three-way tube next. Lower the lab jack. Unscrew the clamp holding in the distillation flask. This is known as your distillant. Place a glass stopper on it and place it into a flask so it does not roll about. Disconnect the heating mantle from the rheostat. Now remove the heating mantle from the lab jack. You can now remove the clamps from the retort stands. Make sure to remove the grease from the connector portions of each of the glassware items and rinse them out with distilled water. You must do this thoroughly to each item 